Hagare and I'm Nu'anu Yagid, Julie Turner, and I'm a Kauai Sioux Tribal member. And we are located in the Tehachapi Mountains and the Southern Sierra Nevada Mountains in California. Language is like a mirror of culture. When you physically look into a mirror, you see an image of yourself and who you are. And in this video, I'm going to show you part of who we are and how we're preserving our language. When you study, speak, and understand Kauai Sioux, you will see a true image of the Kauai Sioux people and our beautiful language and culture. As of 2003, we only had five fluent speakers of our Kauai Sioux language. Our oldest elder speaker is 94 and the youngest is 60. So time is essential and it's not on our side. These are our elder speakers that have dedicated themselves to our language revitalization effort. My father, Luther Gerardo, is the oldest of three siblings and our only male speaker. He's a great resource to us as a native culture. His youngest sister, Lucille Hicks, started teaching classes once a month four years ago and has taught weekly classes for the past two years. We are also, from time to time, have the great pleasure of listening and speaking to my father's sister, Betty Hernandez, and two elders that are sisters, who are also our oldest speakers, Virginia Ibalos and Pauline Gallegos. Lucille Hicks started teaching classes in 2003 in Tehachapi, California. And in 2004, we received funding from Owens Valley Career Development Center. They gave us equipment such as a video camera, a direct to CD recorder, computers, and then they provided training to us on all this new equipment. To date, we have produced 40 CDs with accompanying text, four DVDs of our fluent speakers on traditional stories in our native language. Now, three years later, we are continuing to record lessons to CDs, creating teaching material, videotaping traditional stories, teaching weekly classes to our tribal members and community at large. Through teaching weekly classes, we have created new speakers that are now teaching adult and children classes in our community. We are very involved in our community and participate in local events and share our language as often as possible. The language program has become a vehicle for reviving our native cultures and we have conducted an honoring ceremony at a forgotten Native American graveyard, hosted Native gatherings at our language center, and organized formal dedication of a large mural of the Kauai Sioux people in downtown Tehachapi, which was attended by over 300 community members. Recently, Luther Gerardo, Christine Corcoran, and myself have began working with the Advocates for Indigenous California Language Survival in their Master Apprentice program. With their immersion style training, we have learned to speak and understand our language better in a shorter period of time. Learning to speak my language has created a great sense of pride for me. I've always known who I am, but now I feel that by learning my language and the culture of my father, the language spoken by my grandparents, my great-grandparents, and my ancestors, that I'm preserving a great culture that I can hand down to my children and their children and give them the same pride and belonging that I have now. I once heard this, without the language, the heart of a people and nation vanishes. We as indigenous people have a responsibility in preserving our traditions because once our elders are gone, and they're no longer with us. Our culture will be gone also. Hey, oh, oh, hey.